What's happening guys? Welcome back for today's video. If you'd already seen the last video, then you probably know what's coming today. Um, now, we recently purchased a nice big bundle of eBay cards. That's a nice quote. So yeah, we, we recently purchased a nice big eBay bundle of vintage Wizard of the Coast cards. Um, and included in that, amongst the other stuff that you've already seen and the other stuff that will come in the next video, was this beauty that you see in front of you. So we've got three Team Rocket cards, uh, pack, sorry, first edition, all of them. Uh, they've already been opened, but the cards that were in there seem to already still be in there. So I'm hoping that there are still hollows in there. Um, and then in the background, you can see the three stacks of bundle. Now this one on the left here has a nice first edition cloister there. So hopefully, that means that there's a lot more first edition cards in here. Not guaranteeing it, but you never know. So, without further ado, we'll get cracking. So what I'll do is I'll pop that at the back, pop that at the back, we'll probably crack into that, and then I'll do one bundle, a pack, a bundle, a pack, a bundle, and a pack, and we'll see what we've got. So, again, like I said before, I'm not a fan of people who put elastic bands around cards. As you can tell, it's very difficult to remove them without damaging the edges. Um. I mean, if these had been absolutely pristine cards, I would have been even mortified, but I suppose in this case, they are a little bit old, so it's not too bad. Um, now, the guy who owned these, I'm guessing, was an absolute huge fan of the original series, because he seems to have bought packs among packs among packs. So, now, the, the bulk, you've seen a lot of the bulk anyway, so I'm not going to spend too long on the bulk. We'll just have a quick sort of gander through and see what's there. If anything catches your eye, feel free to pause the video. Um, so we've got a lot of base set here. Nothing too dramatic. Uh, obviously, we're looking out for any sort of shadowless or first editions. <coughs> Sorry about that. But at the moment, we don't seem to be striking lucky with that. But fingers crossed, that entire bundle that you see on your left is just full to the brim of first editions. Um, nice ball top there. Yep, just your basic cards in there. Lots of sort of common and uncommon bulk again. Pop those to one side. Code card there, broken bonds. And as always with all my eBay videos, guys, I do still give away code cards for those of you who do like them. Yeah, I have got a nice little supply that's tucked away at the side from my eBay purchases and a few packs that I've opened myself in private. So, I will always have a nice supply of them. Nice original squirtle there. And I will always dish them out to you guys because I don't actually use them myself. Um, I mean, among collecting and making videos and work and everything else, I don't really have time to play the game. So rather than me having them sitting there or selling them on for whatever they're worth, I'd rather share them with you guys. Nice old Pikachu there, original Pikachu. So again, just some more bulk. Uh, I'm guessing that this is probably just going to be again a lot more common and uncommon bulk. Oh, got some nice dark cards and different cards there at the back I can see. So I'll have a little flick through this. I'll go a bit slower if there's anything catches my eye. Uh, base set 2, not bad. Like I said in the last video, I do need a fair bit of base set 2, so this should fill out my collection nicely. Um, if you didn't see the last video, guys, I'll drop a link in the bottom of the video here, in the description. So if you want to go back and check that out, please do so. Uh, we did have some nice stuff in there, including a few different types of Charizard and a couple of PSA cards. Okay, so we've got some nice Neo cards here. So let's have a little gander of these because we haven't seen much of the Neo recently. So we've got a nice ear palm there. Beer leaf, not bad. Crocodile, nice Electabuzz. Ferret, Gramble, Lantern, Fanfi. Is this Genesis? I think this is Genesis, isn't it? Quilava, another Quilava, Seedress and Flora, Togepi, Jiggerita, Cyndaquils, Giraffe Rig, Hoot Hoot. Ladybar, Mantine, Mareep, Marel, Natu, not bad, Oddish, very nice Onyx, 
And actually, if I'm not mistaken, is this not the... Has anyone seen the 2019 McDonald's promos? Is that not the Onyx from there? I have to check that. I think that might be. Very nice Pikachu there. Very cartoony. <laughs> no idea what's going on with that slow poke. Looking very derby. Snubble spinner rack. And then we've got Stantler. Sunkern, Swinub, Totodile. So not too many duplicates here. Lots of trainers. Sprout Tower, Berry, Moo Moo Milk, Pokemon March. Okay, we've got some dark cards. I mean, it's going to take me forever to sort this out. Very nice dark dragon hair there. Electrode, Flareon, Dark Gloom, very nice Jolteon. Condition on these is very nice. See, very lightly played. Dark Prime Ape, lovely dark Vaporeon. Good old Magikarp. Porygon, Abra. Now, has anybody seen the. Oh, what's he called? I want to say Behemoth. No, it's not Behemoth. There's a Pokemon card that's just come out in the recent set that looks very similar to this. Um, El Elgium? Oh, God, his name passes me by now. It's going to kill me that. I'm going to sit and think about it all night. Uh, Diglett, Dratini, Ekans, Coffin. If you know who I'm talking about, guys, please drop a pause to the bottom because, like I say, it's, it's, got, it's probably going to eat away at me. I'm going to have to probably look it up. Uh, challenge, full heal, and a potion energy. So as promised, let's have a look at one of those packs. Uh, before we do that, let's give a cold card away. So there is a Burning Shadow CLB Kamala. Not bad. And we'll get into this Gyarados pack first, shall we? So these cards are very nice. Um, a little bit of whitening around the edges. It's probably where they've been shuffled around the packs a fair bit. But, but as you can see, they are all first edition, which is lovely. Uh, and the pack art is very nice, so I will keep that. Um, always do like to keep the pack art for all the packs. So that's nice. So to kick it off, we have a Dark Raticate. An Ekans. An Abra. Drowsy. Coffin. Magnemite. Matchup. And there's a hollow. So it's just a hollow trainer, but it's still a first edition hollow, so that's nice. And we've got a Rockets Sneak Attack Trainer Hollow. Not bad. So I'm wondering if the other two packs also have hollows. We then have the Dark Vaporeon, Dark Jolteon, and Dark Electrode. All first edition, so lovely additions to my set. Because I don't have a lot of first edition cards, believe it or not. Um Put that to the back, move that out of the way so it's not get damaged. Okay, let's have a look at this bundle, but before we do that, there's a cord card. We can enjoy that. There you go. It's a elastic band off without damaging anything. Shuffle that over the side. And let's have a little gander. So I think these all look to be jungle bulk. So I'm just gonna go fairly quick through these. Nice Pikachu there. See if there's anything that catches our eye. Not really. Lots and lots of Eevees and Pikachu. Lots of Eevees and Pikachus. Nice Rapid Dash there. You know, Persian. Paris. I feel like I could build a nice little Pikachu army with all these Pikachus. Not that that's a bad thing. Definitely a fan favourite is Pikachu. Obviously, mascot of the entire anime. So we got again a lot more bulk. Just quickly flick through that. Nothing too great. Lots and lots of jungle cards. Don't want to spend too long looking at that, do we? Okay, let's have a quick flick through here, see if there's anything out of the norm. Okay, we're back to some base set 2 there. 
Should do bad. I think I'm definitely going to have a fair few complete sets of the commons and uncommons among these sets now. Which is nice. It's just going to be a case of what's in that binder, I think. I think that's where the money's going to be, guys. Yep. Pop those over to the side. And let's have a look and see what's in the next first edition pack. And then we'll also have a look at that first edition bundle that's sitting there. So these are actually in a little bit better condition than the last pack. You can see. It's quite nice. It's a little bit widening up there in the corner. Tiny bit down here. But not too bad. Now I don't know if these used to have a pack trick. I'm imagining there was a pack trick, but I don't actually know what it is. So we've got a first edition Team Rocket Meowth. <clears throat> side up. Magnemite, Matchup, Coffin, Ekans, Dratini, and another hollow. Very hard to see because there's very little hollow actually on there, but there you go, if you can see that there. So we've got a Here Comes Team Rocket First Edition Trainer, which is nice. Full team there, Jesse, James, and Meowth. Got a Dark War Turtle, Porygon. And a dark gloom. Again, all in first edition, so fantastic. Put those about the whack. And I nearly went straight into that pack, but let's have a look at this bundle first. Now I'm hoping that a lot of this is first edition, but maybe it's not. So there you go, there's a code card for you guys, Burning Shadow CLB. You can tell I've opened a fair few of those. So we've got a nice first edition cloister there, which is quite nice. And some regular bulk. So that first edition was clearly placed on top of that to make it look a bit better. But not to worry. Can't remember what set that is though, but it's a fairly old set. I believe that's the dragon set. Oh, we've got a first edition graveler, not bad. Probably missing a fair lot of stuff in here, but I'm trying to keep the video nice and short for you guys. Don't want to stretch out too much. <laughs> Again, a lot of commons, uncommons. All nice. Wizards of the Coast, so can't complain. Got a nice first edition slowpoke there. So there's clearly a full first edition fossil pack in here somewhere or being opened at some point so fingers crossed they managed to pull some first edition hollows because that would mean there'd be some in the binder hopefully now I do know that binder does have a lot of hollows in it but obviously the eBay itself limited to 12 pictures so with the quantity that's here it couldn't all be pictured so I took a little bit of a gamble on this but at the moment I feel like it's kind of paying off because the amount of bulk that we've got here from the older sets, which if sorted properly and sold properly, will turn us a tidy little profit to buy new cards with, which is the aim of the game. We want to try and complete as much of the Pokemon set as possible, while spending as little as possible. <clears throat> so, again, we've got some Team Rocket cards in here, which is nice. Probably one of my favourite sets from the original. Base set uh, era. Lots of trainers. Good old favourite card of mine. Team Rocket Squirtle. Best Squirtle art of all time. I'm sure there's a thing, you know, with Kadabra as well, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, where they can't print any Kadabra cards anymore. You don't see any Kadabra cards in the newest set. Um, and I'm sure that was a dispute that uh, Pokemon had between themselves and one of the more famous magicians, I can't remember his name, but the use of Kadabra was deemed as copyrighted, which meant that Pokemon are now limited to what they print. 
Okay, so to end the video, guys, we'll have a code card firstly. There we go. Now we'll have a look at this final first edition pack. <clears throat> so we kick it off with a first edition Rider. Oddish. Higgins. Meowth. Dark Rider Kid. Slowpoke. Charmander and another holo. This time a holo rainbow energy first edition. So very nice. Lovely condition. Uh, just a tiny little bit of whitening up there in that top corner. And a little bit on the other side, but other than that, near perfect. Gorgeous card that. I remember that from when I was a kid, that brings back a lot of memories. Oh, there's a nice little swirl in there as well. Can you see that swirl there? Not the best swirl in the world, but it's the start of a swirl. I know there's a lot of people out there who love the swirls, so that's not bad. We then get a dark muck, dark gloom, and a dark war turtle. So, we'll end with a code card, guys, and then that will be it for today's video. Uh, I thank you all for watching. And stay tuned for the next video where we will crack into that Pokemon binder. Uh, just to give you guys a sneak peek, there are a lot of first edition cards in there and a lot of hollows in there as well, which look to be absolutely fantastic. But I will keep that as a surprise so that I'll be seeing it at the same time you're all seeing it. Anyway, that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you all for watching and keep an eye out for the next one. I'll see you later.